This podcast exists because of the team at CASCM. At CASCM, we make content creation enjoyable. We are on a mission to help leaders create content, content that will improve lives, content to be proud of, content that fosters community. We know through firsthand experience how content brings people together, and we love helping make that happen. We produce podcasts, short form videos, blog posts, and other written works, while also providing support in website development, social media management, and strategic planning. And we would be excited to help you. Visit cascm.com to learn more, or feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or Twitter. I was listening to you, right? something you wrote, it's either in Twitter, it could have been your book, and you've mentioned this, and I wanted to bring it up last time, and, and you going down this path right now, what you just talked about, and we're on a podcast, right? We're recording something, but you were listening to podcasts, and you said, podcasts saved your life. Like I know that's just not like in a line, like obviously that's part of it. And there's so much more to it. Like you said, like just even what you're going through right now. It's interesting because I remember a time when I started listening to podcasts and, and it was, I was having a lot of thoughts in my head and I was like talking to myself and I saw podcasts as a way, whether it was like, whatever it was, it didn't matter what the content was at the time. It was some of it self-help, let's say, or say it was like early on type of listening where I've developed and gone on a different like content that I listen to now. And I saw the importance of podcasting and listening to it and then audiobooks and reading all that stuff. And then I was like, became a reason is one of the reasons why I'm not going to get into it now, but like why I created my own podcast because I saw the importance of it. But when I hear you say that line of someone who's gone through it and is on the other end of it and is living it out, to drop that line of podcast saved your life. Like, talk to me about that. Like, that's a big one. Yeah, it's huge, man. I literally remember, I'm not even joking. The first podcast that I remember listening to in my entire life was an episode from Tim Ferriss talking about how he was suicidal in college. And I was literally at the time, suicidal in college. <laughs> and so when I listened to that, I don't even remember what he said, but like he said, like kind of how he did it and how he approached it and what happened in his life. And I just like remember being taken out of my moment where I was suicidal and my brain was having all these thoughts. I just like remember being taken out and be like, wait, I'm in this spot right now in my life. And yet I'm listening to a podcast by a guy who is now very successful, but was in the same exact spot that I was in. And like, I literally had no idea what to do with my life. I was so lost, but I literally remember. <laughs> I literally remember just like literally spending the rest of my days and weeks literally just listening to Tim Ferriss's podcast, listening to Joe Rogan's podcast on YouTube, Aubrey Marcus. Like I, I literally remember, dude, I literally sat in my college dorm room. <laughs> I had a roommate and the lights were off and like we had the neon lights that like changed colors. <laughs> and like we both be sitting there. And like we both had our beds on opposite ends. And I just like have Joe Rogan's podcast. <laughs> like we just be like learning the craziest stuff. And it completely changed my life. Like it completely changed like what I thought was possible, it completely changed like what you said, like my own like inner dialogue, just of like not hearing myself and hearing someone else talk that's educational, that's informational, that's inspirational. Completely changed my life, dude. Completely changed my life. And then also, too, like what changed my life is like I remember, oh, like at this time, even though I was going through it. I had no idea like what mental health was. Like I didn't understand the concept of even like being on health. Like I didn't understand these things, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, but I remember I was just like, you know what? But then like at that time, I realized that I was an entrepreneur. Like even before when I was a kid on like on as a teenager, I like start all these websites. I do all these different things online. But I was like raised in a world where it's like, oh, you have to get good grades or you have to be good at sports or else you're a loser. And so for me, I was always an entrepreneur. And so I kind of like learned that too, that I was an entrepreneur. And I literally like remember going to Spotify and like literally searching entrepreneur and then coming across like, I remember it was like an entrepreneur, like motivational playlist. And I remember clicking on it and I remember just like listening to like all like these different like motivational tracks from like all these different speakers. And dude, I literally remember my brain being blown. Like I remember at that time, I had never heard these different ideas of like believing in, like I'd never heard of these things. And I just like literally started to, if I was inside, I was watching a podcast. If I wasn't inside, I would be outside going for a walk. And on my walks, I'd literally be listening to podcasts or I'd be listening to those motivational tracks. And I literally did that for a year, like straight up every single day, didn't matter, like every day. And like, dude, that fundamentally changed my life. Like it fundamentally changed how 
I think about things. I also like started to do like this thing where I don't know how like how much this is based off like science. Like I don't know how much science there is, but I started doing this thing called like self hypnosis, where like basically what I learned is that like your brain has like two sort of modes. There's your conscious mind, then there's your subconscious mind. And the only way that you can access your subconscious mind is when you're asleep. And so basically like what I learned is that when you're asleep, your subconscious mind is open and it's thinking, it's you're dreaming, you're going through all these different ideas. And so like what I learned is that your brain is actually unbelievably more receptive and open. And so I literally started to like listen to like these eight hour self-hypnosis tracks when I would go to sleep. And like, I don't know how much that did, but I definitely think that impacted me a lot because, you know, it was that. And then plus I started to meditate. I started to eat healthy. I just like literally became a a different person. Like every inch of my mind looked different. Every inch of my body looked different. And, you know, throughout the years, sure, there's been times where I've lost momentum, especially in 2020 and 2021, for sure. But that's what I did, man. And it's like so many other people have done kind of the same journey, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing that podcasts have this ability of like this access to information that we have. I mean, obviously it goes in different directions because you can consume the wrong information, right? And you could go down the wrong path, right? But again, it's not always like, it goes back to that word awareness and you realizing that this is worthwhile and you can go down this path and what this is doing for you. And you can't spreadsheet that, right? Like there's no ROI (laughs) on that. And because that's what I constantly hear, right? So we do podcast production. And a lot of times we'll come across these, let's say a CEO or someone in finance that wants to know what they're going to get out of the podcast. You know, like, and I could look at ours and be like, Mark, I'm talking to you right now. Like, I've seen what you put out there. I've seen your book. I've seen your talks. I've paid attention to you. We've communicated before. And I'm like, I get to talk to you and hear all this information. What's the ROI on that? It gives a shit. In case you haven't noticed, we love podcasts. In fact, we love building podcasts, everything from development to production. Because of all that, we're building a -a one-of-a-kind podcast network. If you have a podcast or looking to launch a new podcast, then we should talk. You can message me on Twitter at Eric underscore Kaz or hit us up any way that works for you. Let's talk about your podcast joining this one-of-a-kind podcast network.